from Damani McIntyre newly into the game as well. As we see the subs from both teams. Mitchell for three. He got it. And that's what he can bring from the outside. Not going to fall. Mitchell pushing the tempo. Gets it to Fox. And he lays it in. His first points as a Golden Gopher. And look at him. He's hyped. Garcia send picks for Mitchell to get him into the front court. Ola Joseph. Garcia up top. Fox lays it on the alley-oop. Gets the screen from him. Over to Garcia. Fox looking to post up. He's got the seven-footer on him. Goes to the baseline and throws it down. Parker Fox feeling it tonight. And here you see, find the baseline, find the bucket, and throw it down with authority. Parker Fox. The Jones brothers, Tyus and Trey, all Minnesota Mr. Basketball in high school. Here's Parker Fox into the game. Well, you love to see that coach, given what he's been through the last couple of years. Native Minnesota, here he is, backing into the paint, spinning opposite, and finishing strong. A very aggressive Spartan defensive posture. And Parker Fox may have gotten away with a travel as he slams it home. Trying to get an alley-oop, and you see here, Fox doing a good... And the Spartans with the three-point advantage at the midpoint of this opening frame. Wild shot, but it falls for Parker Fox. See here as he keeps his dribble alive and just waits for an opening, and Fox doing a good job of playing off of hockey. Fox against the double team makes the smart pass to find the open pain. Even though he has not scored, Parker Fox has given Minnesota a lift. And as soon as I say that, he gets on blown by. But then recovers and blocks that ball off the glass, and now foul called on the Golden Gopher. I, I think they were maybe trying to get a little rest for some of their guys, as well as making sure that they had everyone in the situation they wanted defensively. So far, the turnover battle has gone in the favor. Mason Jones lost it, got it back, and now throws it away. Parker Fox, and he'll dunk it down. A little extra hang there on the rim, wants the crowd to get into it. Golden Gophers and Parker Fox showing you some of the athleticism. For Ten years ago. Parker Fox to Payne down low, and throws it up and in. Christie, wide open up top. Fox goes up, that's clean, that'll count. There now Payne on the post. Fox right back to Payne for the two-handed slam. Williams to a slashing, Gary blocked by Payne, blocked by Fox. Across D1 basketball here this year. Hawkins was thinking about the pocket pass, then finds Fox, Parker Fox. We'll discuss more Big Ten basketball around the corner. Good catch there by Fox to, to keep it alive. Here's Christie, still scoreless, goes out of class, count the bucket, and and one coming for the freshman. Each step back bomb. But Donnie Johnson, he has Big Ten experience. He knows how to play in this league and against guys in this league. And he's familiar with Pat Chambers' system. Eh? With sheer size, but... I think the bigger impact is the fact that Ben Johnson, has, as Cameron Christie knocks down a pull-up J. I I mean, he's a man kind of guy. He's a tough, gritty coach, and he does not want to have to play zone. Parker Fox picks it off the pass and drops it off. How about that? 47 to 41, off and running. Fox, unselfishness to his teammate, Ola Joseph. And trying to find that soft part of the zone. Here's Fox. One on one against Kelman, who's got the three personals. Fox, the long length. How do you get that one off? Well, and Coach Ben Johnson, he's not happy about that. What he really needs to see is he has to see a drive first before you take that that tough step back three at the clock. Parker Hawk, Fox is having himself quite a game. Trying to make. And I agree, and, and he's he's a guy that has, as I said, the experience. Fox gets the flush on the baseline. 
Tries to kick it out to Parker Fox. Ola Joseph does it again. This kid is unreal tonight. Setting up their offense. Parker Fox screens for Mitchell. Mitchell does not fall, but Parker oh. Fox, second chance points. Throws it down. Hot start tonight. Fox missed that one pass early. Hawkins get the screen from Fox. Works in, into Fox, who does it again. Hawkins, spin move, kicks it out, Parker Fox throws it down, and you see the chemistry in this one. See a lot of European basketballs playing Division I basketball in America. Gophers on the fast break. Fox oh. throws it <laughs> down and once again assists in three consecutive games. Does not like what he sees. Sets up the screen and that gets nothing. Stolen. Mitchell Fox throws it down. Parker Fox been having a great night. Gophers have 11 threes on the night and Christie has three of those. Fox able to get an arm on it right there. Oh, gets the steal. Stolen by Fox. Fox moving in, lets it drop. Quickly goes to defense. And then IUPUI is getting these fouls in their favor as this steal, Parker Fox brings it the full length of the court. Five for five from the field with 10 points and two assists. No turnovers. What a game he's had. Fox does it again. Little loop, a little slam. Jackson inside, does not fall. Parker Fox, is he going to do it again? Yes, he is. The show boat continues. The lights are on. Gets it to Anin, who gives it to Hawkins. Passes it into Parker Fox. Fox to the rim, gets the nice layup there. The first basket from Parker Fox. Hawkins running around. I've seen him go around this entire perimeter here. Fox inside, he gets the basket. Make that four points for Parker Fox. Hawkins gives it to Christie, in double digits. Mitchell takes the long three-pointer and nails it! My goodness, what a long-range shot. Make that 20 points for Mike Mitchell Jr. Ball State will get possession. The shot clock just a second lower than game clock. Parker Fox with the steal. He's got going a little bit. Clayton, though, lost the handle. Ola Joseph in the open floor. The basket and one. What a finish. From a town just about 10 miles from here in the Twin Cities, having himself a fine Friday. Ola Joseph. Doing a good job here tonight. Pain. Making such an impact on both ends of the floor. Run out on Maine. Black Bears made a run here early in this second half, but Minnesota, just like they did in the first half, they have responded. And they just keep pounding it down low where they have that size advantage as well as the physicality. Over to Mitchell. Now Mitchell drops one down to Fox. Fox back to Mitchell, and then he's able to put it home. That's beautiful two-man basketball right there. Fox hands it off for Christie, pulls up with the elbow. Maryland is led by as many as 11. Young against Christie in the paint. Fox went up, collapsed, and knocked it free. There is again. Garcia has the mismatch here against Young. Instead, gives up the ball to Hawkins. Trying to beat Kaiser. Leaves it for Fox. Another beautiful pass. I'm hoping for its seventh consecutive win. And Corey, that's another example of playing with the proper pace. We had some of their earlier games, and Hawkins would just put his head. Because right now, with Khalil Ware on the bench, there's zero shot blocking on the floor for Indiana. Fake the pass, Johnson. Again, tossing it away. Allowing him to make that pass over to Holloman, and he knocks it down. He's 41%. And a good drive and one. Yeah, one of those empty side ball schemes have been really good for Minnesota. Just over 14 points and five rebounds a game. He's over that right now. Mitchell, his jumper, good. 
The defense has to respond. They float that way, then you kick it back to Crowell. That made field goal snap to Drought of about three and a half minutes. Fox hangs and scores off the glass. And Gilmore had an angle, brought it down. Maybe regretted that last yep. move, but now Klesman will try and attack, blocked by Fox. It, yeah, nice job of switching back because if they swing the ball, Wall had Hawkins on his hip. Lesman, the shot clock winding down. It's a violation. Strong defensive stand. The CG got away with a walk. There. He did. Well, Blackwell, he goes back door along the baseline, and it's denied. I think that's the second block for Fox. That's... Now watch number 23. He along with Enan. Veteran players that just wanted to play Big Ten basketball after missing the last couple of seasons. Hawkins, five, down low, Fox, layup, good. Down by six early on at the Bryce Jordan. One hand whip pass from Baldwin. Kern swatted away, that Parker Fox. Five on the shot clock. Parker Fox, who's back in the game, and he scores. You saw him as we went to break, clutching his knee. One thing, one thing that Penn State has struggled with has defending the ball screen. If Minnesota will be patient, they'll get shots just like that off the pick and pop. But he is as confident as Dawson Garcia can get. Clary. Oh, and a swat by Fox! Get their press, which caused Minnesota so many problems. they got to start making some buckets. Lily swatted by Fox. Fox is making his game known defensively today. For a ball screen in the backcourt. Clary just hounds his defender, doesn't he? So quick. Fox inside for two more. Fox has nine points. Only two of ten shooting today. Splits the defenders. Oh, another one from Fox. That's at least his third block tonight, and they've all been dramatic. Mitchell, the drive, the dish, the slam from Fox! Let's plays on the defensive side of things. Kern, Kern's got, looks like he's got a cramp. Just, I'll tell you, Mike Mitchell is, if, that Minnesota gets it done, he, he's the unsung hero from the standpoint that he can... Six turnovers now on the Wildcats. The lob from Hawkins to Fox. Kirsty has the fourth. His wrist getting into the get hitting that back standard. Watch how he mm. falls, and he's grabbing his wrist right now. Hawkins left open. No, up into board. Fox just such energy provided, and he puts it back in. Tell you what, on this end of the floor, forcing turnovers. Who else? Fox on the steal, and he knocks it off of Kohler. The seventh year in college. Michigan State, four turnovers in their last five possessions. Five overall for the game, nearly midway through this first half. Around the horn it goes. Open look, catch, Carrington. Started the majority of the season. Payne has regained that starting spot. Fox slips through for two plus one. Tom Mizzo, he's got a look on his face like, I know this guy was on the scouting report, but he's not, we didn't expect him to put it on the deck from the three-point line to get all the way to the rim. It's a great effort. And Malik Hall. You hear the buzzword culture all the time and playing the right way. But when you see it, and you see in the practices, as Fox slips through for two. Cricky. Dips under, and it's blocked by Fox. And he's wagging his finger like Matumbo. Parker Fox has played brilliantly defensively over the last five or six games. Nice inside, there's Parker Fox. Kind of a hybrid zone man-to-man -man here for Iowa's Mitchell drains the three over the top of Perkins. He's mentioned six out of nine so far this afternoon. Nice pass, oh. Fox another dunk. I mean, Mitchell has been a maestro on that screen and roll delivering third time he has done it the different recipients 
There's a time and a place for a pass. That's the proper place. Fox couldn't hit the shot. Got another shot at it and missed. Right back out to Mitchell for three. Boy, what a backbreaker for the Gophers. Fox goes to the paint. Fox tapped it in himself. Hawkins on a dime. Dishes Fox. Good. How about the change of pace by Hawkins? Passed up the three. And right now, Minnesota, to say they're tentative on this end of the floor would be an understatement. Hawkins dishes. Fox is there for the flush. Oh, Jones came over here on Robbie Hubble's lap. <laughs> and then through all of that, we have a monitor flipped upside down, a headset and papers everywhere, and Min Final seconds. And Purdue's win streak goes to nine. Parker Fox does so many little things for this Minnesota squad. Garcia elevates and scores. And a nice job by Garcia. How many times did you do that? Uh, my rejections came in the dating world. <laughs> Derek Simpson swatted by Parker Fox. How about the hustle play by Fox? For the Golden Gophers who are coming off multiple knee injuries, serious ones. Enan and that young man, Parker Fox, who sprints back and gets his team an extra possession. Watch him timing his leap, deflects it, and then the presence of mind to... Simpson. Oh, how about the deflection? Here comes Minnesota. Three on two. Hawkins pull up. Three. Book it. Leads to another breakout opportunity. Watch the deflection there by Fox on the attempted lob to Amori. When you're with the smallest guy on the floor, you have to understand, look, I need some space to get it off in transition. Maybe one of those times. And Hawkins usually gets his teammates involved, but also shows you you give him enough space. He can beat you from deep. And who had that swat there? Parker Fox. Parker Fox. A little bit of everything. Grew up in this Minneapolis area. Garcia and battled it. Alley oop and Fox with the finish. A lob play placed perfectly by Elijah Hawkins. I mean, he brings energy to the game. You have to know where he is. That is a perfect pass, a better catch. And this student section is going crazy. Look at that. Just doesn't get any better. All the injuries he's overcome. He fights on every single possession. Two possession advantage here for the Gophers. Fox turns and faces. Off the glass for two. Parker Fox with a flex. Battle comes over to get it. Double team coming, wrapped up. Minnesota forcing the turnover. Fox comes up with it. Nothing more than this crowd would like to see them. Battle turning over the ball and Christie. Moving the ball and the defense has been there. Look at everybody scrapping and hustling the energy, the passion. You get up and run and Christie, this is a great decision. Strike by the Irons. Go first. Fox it. Parker Fox with a tip hit of his own miss. Huskers scramble mode defensively working so far. Hawkins going behind the back against Gary. Fox, six to shoot. Count the bucket, and he'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Two ACL surgeries. Modern medicine, he's able to still continue to not just play, but to rise above. This guy lives around the rim. I guess that's one way to shut down Tominaga, try to pull his headband over his eyes on defense. Christie on the drive mm. against Gary, and there's Fox for the two-hand finish. Hawkins, end-to-end, -end, drops it off. Ola Joseph can't get there, and there's Fox again. Clean up in the middle. Well, they got it going with Fox on the followers. Now Mitchell drops it to Fox again. And Parker Fox providing the spark as the Gophers are back within six and a timeout taken by the Huskers. Coaching matters. Ben Johnson realized his bigs are in a little foul trouble. It's not working with that size. I've got to go with my... Offensive rebound for Nebraska. Gary driving on the much smaller Hawkins. That won't go. Mass there for the rebound. Didn't hit rim. Needs to go to work. Mass short on that shot. Still didn't hit the rim. Baldwin to Hicks. 
Freshman Cam Christie spins underneath. Fox comes over, helps out defensively, and Christie saves this one in the corner. Up the court for an easy one. Nick Curran picking up his second foul. Parker Fox and finally getting that chance here this year and making the most of it. He should come back. Hey, I keep oh, another year. Sure can, and now a volleyball spike on this elevated floor. This big block a moment ago for Parker Fox. Good drive by Puck Johnson and, and staying vertical and, and doing a great job. He's a really, really good athlete. He is a really good three-point shooter, but he's doing more and more things. Off the turnover, it's Fox back-to-back -back dunks in some life inside the barn. By Christie did a roller pain for the easy dunk, and now the activity of Mitchell and saving the basketball. Good pass, kick ahead. Great, great feet to, from... Attacks the paint, stripped, that was Baldwin. And now Mitchell, Hawkins trying to get back, and Fox went up with a big block, Mitchell hit the deck. Again, the active hands, forming defense, getting it out on transition. This is key, key defensive possession for the goal. Mitchell had a step, blocked again by Fox, his fourth block of the half. Let's keep an eye on that. Seeing with the bounce, Parker Fox goes back door, and we have a one-point game. Garcia's got the ISO at the top of the key. They kind of closed the gap on him. Great pass. Parker Fox with a huge night on his senior day. Oh, Parker Fox, the old grizzled veteran going after freshman. 25 years old, and Parker Fox, his dream was to play Big Ten basketball after missing two straight years with knee injuries. Johnson and Payne collide, and we play on. Here's Johnson, tries to go behind the back, and Mike Woodson is livid. There's the lob, Payne off the feed from Mitchell. One point game, here's Fox with the right oh. hand. That's a great decision. His first pass is being denied, so there was an open driving lane. College one more year. Uh, boy, she is just is so good for the game overall. Just the game of basketball overall. Parker Fox with eight. We've seen some double-digit uh, comebacks in the Big Ten in the last couple of weeks. Speaking of mayhem, let's take a look at our mayhem moment brought to you by Allstate. Parker Fox, look at the block, the save, off the floor and says, hey, wait, my teammates are still down there. Great effort. So Indiana goes back, takes their time. Boy, look at Parker Fox. Parker. That was tough for those bigs to get out on the perimeter. Kind of feel naked out there on an island, but you got to know the scouting report. Parker Fox off the feed. He's doing all he can to ignite his team and his crowd. Nice job. Christie on the move, leaves it for Fox, and he throws it down. Job of driving here, Christie finds Parker Fox, and then this, I mean, Parker Fox gets hit right on the arm, finishes through the contact, should have been an and one opportunity for Minnesota. They want to play in the NIT, and they think they can win it. Here's Preston blocked at the rim, what a block by Pharrell Payne. Now Fox on the move, lays it in. <laughs> Thinking maybe Zach Eady on the back line might be able to catch that. That's about it. Inside, Parker Fox with a two-handed flush. Nice job of ball screen action. You got to pay attention to Hawkins. The backside rotation, not there. Parker Fox doing chin-ups at the rim. Got the basketball again here, going against the freshman. Garcia collects and finishes. You said you got up at 5.30 to run. Hey, man, I got, I got to keep this old body going. <laughs> Fox, little teardrop from Parker Fox. And he had the presence of mind to keep his concentration. Got a couple buckets to go down. He's starting to feel good about himself. Tom Izzo seven. our guards are locked in. We're a different team. Well, now Minnesota, as we tick inside of three minutes, a little bit of a danger zone. 
Fox drives and scores. Good recognition by Parker Fox.